Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Chris, and this is my channel, Chris B44S, and today I'm going to be playing Brotato. Um, so I started playing this morning, and I wanted to do as like a series of videos, just kind of like playing the different traits and, you know, looking for uh, builds that were better than others, kind of a thing. I'm um, going to just see how the builds, how they play out with the new patch and the 1.0 patch. Um, there's a couple other YouTubers doing this, and... Uh, um, I really, really like this game as an arena shooter, and I know there's a couple other people that do, and that's what like got me into it more. Um, not per se that other people like it, but that I think it's really well designed, and I really like the progression system, the items, and just the, the elements that make the game what it is. I like the shop and the upgrading system and the actual gameplay. Um, but so this morning I jumped on, like without recording or anything, and uh, I just started playing a run, and I don't know if you guys, how much you guys have been playing, anybody watching this video, but like the game seems a lot harder now, especially when you get to wave 12, which is the, the newest last wave. Um, before it was 10, now it's 12, but like level 12 seems extremely, extremely difficult. And so if anybody's been playing before this and you've won a run, you'll know that this is what it looks like. I put this in because this is just going to be my thumbnail. Um, but basically, yeah, I used the the character uh, crazy like that has the knives um, and that's what I'm going to continue using for this video but there's a couple traits you can't see here because this is just a screenshot of the match from this morning um, and basically what happened I think um, I got pretty lucky with the weapons as you can see I got some uncommons and um, epics or legendary whatever you want to call it some blue and purple but the blades like the bladed character I think is really strong um, it has, has good pros and cons uh, that make it a little bit... The cons, like, you know, because it basically gets default. It gets um, dodge and range damage down. And then you can kind of pick up items that... Um, the items that, like, synergize with it in here, I think just work really well. I think this build just works really well. And this is honestly the first build that I've beat a run with. Um... But the blades, like I said, seem really strong. And the synergy between these blades and the shivs, plus the elemental damage, like the scarred sausage works really well. Getting burn and elemental buffs for this build work really well. I'm just a big fan of Baby Elephant, even though it takes away from elemental damage. But I think as far as weapons go, this is a good layout. Um, you know, looking for burn items, armor, uh, HP, elemental stuff, I think works really good. Um, you can't see it right now, but I noticed 5 armor reduces 33% of damage, which seems really, really good, because 5 armor is pretty easy to get, um, so if you just, you know, just something to keep in mind. I think surviving in the later part of this game right now, I think a big thing is max HP, having, having a high HP, having lots of lifesteal and armor. Obviously, with you know, in conjunction with being able to deal high amounts of damage directly and uh, quickly. So, this is my thumbnail, um, and I just kind of want to talk about this build. and And I'm gonna and I'm gonna keep. I want to keep trying to make videos um, where I'm highlighting builds and and good builds, you know, and seeing seeing how they work and what items synergize with them well. So. So I'm just going to start another game, and I really, really should have recorded the one that I played earlier, but I definitely didn't. Because um, I just kind of, like, got up, and after, like, morning stuff, just got on to play real quick. Um, so we're just, yeah, we're just going to play with Crazy. Like I said, it gets 150 range with blade weapons, uh, plus 50 attack speed, and you start with one knife. So there's definitely, I'm going to start with a lightning shiv and a knife. Um, just because, you know, just because. But it also seems to me that, like, the characters that start off with two weapons seem just a little bit better. The one thing that I would kind of like the developer to do is when he had the... He or she... Um, I'm not familiar with the actual people who are working on the game, but... Uh, I'm probably just going to go with the crit damage here. Um, and take the knife. What I liked that the... Yeah, I'm like a re-roll. I'm like really big on the re-roll. Oh, I could pick up this cute monkey because I'm not doing any range damage. Um, I'm, I'm like really big on the re-rolls. But before I get too ahead of myself, 
what they what they had going on before with the characters was they had like they all had like common it said common under the characters and the the characters were like traits or whatever so I was like wondering if like I think at a certain point you were gonna unlock more traits or after certain things you completed and then you get like uncommon and rare and epic or or whatever uh, different traits and I thought it'd be interesting to see like what some of those like crazy good traits were gonna be like epics you know I think they were things that would like make the game easier maybe I don't know or they make it more difficult but like they just like the teeter totter becomes longer so like the pros become better but the cons become a lot worse you know mm -hmm. ooh I got little monkey ears now uh, the one thing I was going to say though that uh I think for like the 1.0 patch is because you can lock items in the shop now. I think even if you if you have money left to reroll, I think you should you should always reroll until you can lock items that you want in. Uh, I think I think like something that can hinder the development of your character big time is going to the shop and never spending any money. I kind of want to reroll that too. I'll take melee damage. Ooh, a knife. I like this living booger too. But see, like right now I have three, three, um, I don't know what you even call this, three material or three coins. And I'm just going to re-roll just to see what I get. I kind of like this too. I might lock this for the elemental damage. Because like this build, I am kind of looking for elemental damage. But I might not. I kind of want the boiling water. Boiling water is pretty strong. And I might take the torch too for right now. I don't really like the torch. Because it doesn't synergize as well as like the bladed shiv. But I could take it. I don't mind. But yeah, kind of like what I was saying was the, uh, the shop. Like you always kind of want to lock in or be... You want to be upgrading every round. You know, so it's like you don't want, you never want to go to the shop and then not actually buy anything. Because then, then, then like you, you'll move up waves, but you'll kind of like, you'll have missed that opportunity to not level up, so to speak, but, you know, to upgrade your character. So I think it's good just to spend your money on re rolls when you can. Yeah, max HP for sure. I could go with one lifesteal. Yeah, so I'm just going to take the water, and I think I'll take the, the torch for right now. The torch seems better than the wand. I guess it just doesn't have the range of the wand. But the torch may, the torch might not end up staying, but it could. I could do like torch and another electric shiv. You never know. It's just kind of like the torch really doesn't work as well with like the. I guess it. I guess it works okay. What is it? What is it? Just plus range to the blades. I kind of just started playing with crazy, but when I was looking at the traits again the other day, it seemed like the crazy trait or the crazy character had really good pros and um, good cons, because like. For this for this build, I mean, you never you don't want to use range damage, so like using that as a sinkhole to buff your other um, stats, I think is really good. Like obviously, in this game, like there's a lot of trade-offs when you take something, you lose something else. So being able to pick up items and upgrades that um, make it so you do less range damage or like less dodge. Is like perfect. I think the items that synergize with this this class, I think, are just overall really, really good. Um, I kind of want to go with this max HP, but twenty percent crit damage just seems good. This is a like ideal <laughs> uh, lightning shiv. Yes, knife. Yes, reroll. Yes. Mm, do I want steroids? I could lock, but. I'm just going to reroll. So I'm definitely going to lock here. Because I'll probably take... Maybe. 
I'll probably take, I don't know if I'll take baby elephant, actually. It's so good, though. It's so good with the scarred sausage, I think. And I'm not totally sure how it works, but I think it can proc burning damage with scarred sausage. Um, but we definitely want this boiling water. That was a really good shop upgrade for us, though. Uh, the one thing I noticed, too, like, if you want to measure how strong your build is getting, like, as you're playing, or when you start in the early game, I feel like wave five, uh, I feel like there's a lot more enemies on screen on wave five, and I think I like a lot more enemy spawns. I think wave five kind of like ups the difficulty. It's kind of like a jump in difficulty. So you can tell like if you're on the right track with your build, it, if you kind of just like glide through level five or wave five, you're definitely on the right track to making a good build. Just from what I've noticed from playing with the new patch, um, you know, like it really kind of starts to get a little more unforgiving at wave five. But we got through that pretty good. Hmm. Should I take the coffee? I don't have any perks to just regular damage, but take it I mean minus 2% less damage really isn't that much I'll definitely take the melee here kind of don't want any of that I think I might grab this armor I'll take the lifesteal so I get plus 2 and minus 1 HP the thing is, I don't have any sacred sausage right now, so I don't really want to grab the baby elephant, I don't think. And, I, like, I don't think we're, like... I don't know. I'm just not going to do it. So the one thing that's interesting here, too, I'm going to take charcoal, but I just want everybody to notice this. If I pick up charcoal, plus one elemental, plus two melee, pretty good, minus two harvesting you earn zero materials at and XP at the end of wave. <laughs> Watch, take it, and now look what it says, you lose two materials at the end of a wave. But that, I don't think like losing two materials is super bad. It's just funny that the way this negates itself, like the dodge, you know, like the dodge doesn't make you bigger. That would be funny though, if it did, like, I really don't want them to do this, but it would be funny if like the less dodge the easier to hit and then your potato like actually gets bigger like that seems because like i'm pretty sure if you go negative damage and armor you take like i said we went down two percent you and negative two you take 17 percent more damage you know it would be really funny if the less dodge you have like the bigger your character was like so you have basically have like a larger hitbox Oh, I want the armor. I'll have to get my damage back up. So do I want to lock this? I kind of want to lock it for the torch. Just in case we decide to stay with the torch. Because right now I don't think the torch is really hurting us. Like, I mean, it's still an elemental weapon. We're just not getting that little bit of extra crit chance from the bladed synergy. But look at how much like crit, how many crits we're doing. Every yellow uh, number that comes up is a crit. So we're getting them pretty regular. I do like when the potato gets a lot of armor and like gets all armored up. I feel badass. But we're just like chomping through these groups. And that's what I think the knife does. Like, the knives do really well. I feel like my attack speed could be a little bit better. Like, the one thing I feel like the knives... So I know the knives don't say that they penetrate, but I think the knives have, like, penetration. I think I want this... Uh, that 
attack speed boost. Ooh, I'm definitely taking the knife here. See, but like this, the weird food item is like perfect. Should I combine the knives? I don't I don't really think I want to combine the knives. I'm just gonna re-roll again. I'm gonna re-roll again. Yeah. So I just spend all my money on re-roll there. And like I said, I'm not really sure like how these how these like how the shop works. Like say if I don't re-roll. Like, would I see that? Say, if I didn't reroll on the last lineup, would this lineup show up after my next match? If so, like, I'm glad to have gotten through this lineup already and then been able to just skip it after the next match. I think rerolling, I think, be, like I said, I think because of the lock, the lock mechanism, rerolling is a, a definitely a really good option over, over saving your currency. Because, like, at this state of the game, I've never ran into a spot where, like, I've never gone to the shop and, like, not been buying something or whatever. You know, been like, oh, I wish I had. I mean, there's times where, yeah, like, oh, you wish you had a little more currency or something, but typically, like, with every wave, you just get more and more money. So I have never really gotten to that spot where, like, I've never found, I guess, that, like, saving your money really helps too much. I just took a lot of damage there. Maybe I should have more speed, too. I think the big thing that I'm missing from... that I had in my other one was the Scarred Sausage. Like, I think Scarred Sausage is so good. I think I'm gonna take this because I want the speed. I guess the regen isn't too bad. I could just take the life steal back now. I also think taser is good, but I don't know if taser is the right thing. Ooh. Do I want this circular saw? Like, it is a blade. I think I might combine these knives. And take the circular saw. I haven't had it. But it could be good. Alright. I mean, it, 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 like, it's, I think, a top tier weapon. Like, for my, for the blades, you know? Like, I feel like every weapon class has, but I haven't seen, like, a big, like, elemental weapon that you can't unlock from the beginning of the game. Yeah, we're doing we're doing okay right now. I definitely need some health, but I'm like smashing these bushes, like hoping for. I really want to get into the middle. There's my chains. I need more HP too. That was like a really... I don't want that. I do want this. But I don't want to lose that speed. I may regret this. How do I do this though? Do I just... I mean either way I think it plays out the same where you just buy this one, buy this one, and reroll. I don't think there's any other way to do that. Uh, we'll just reroll again. Ooh, another torch. So I like I probably gonna lock this to get this other torch. <clears throat> like I wish 
I wish I had the um I wish I had a little more elemental stuff going on, but with like creating burn damage. I really like scarred sausage is really good. I know I keep saying that word, but it's a really, really good item. Because it basically gives elemental damage to all your items. Or a percent chance to get an elemental effect from any of your weapons. Seems like we're dealing good damage though right now. Wave 10 is really hard, but like I said, the wave 12 is just ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna need like some big upgrades, I think. As far as like the, oh God. as far as like the HP and armor, I think maybe like a little more speed. We seem to be doing okay. The big thing, like the big thing, our damage is really good right now. But you see, like the penetration on the knives, though. Like I feel like knives have penetrate on them, without having penetrate on them. Oh gosh, I thought I was gonna die right there. So definitely taking the torch here. I want to try statue, but I am gonna take this little muscly dude. It's definitely a really good item, and I do have like kind of a theory about melee builds and range, how like less range can be better. <laughs> I know it seems weird. Uh, Wisdom is probably pretty good for us too. Um, but like having re less range with a, a melee build, so like your proximity of attack is smaller, but that means you deal with imminent threats fast sooner. So like you can kind of you can kind of like move and just like in later rounds you kind of like just chunk out the tunnel that you're running through if that makes sense like you just you know what I mean you like clear your lane yeah we're doing pretty good like I said I would like more HP that would make me feel a lot safer See like how kind of like right there I kind of like stutter stepped and just cleared my lane. I think like the less um, the less range you have, oh, the easier it is I think to do that. I don't know why they keep giving me these butterflies. Like I just don't want it. Ugh. I think I just take this attack speed. So this is a good one too to get the acid. But like, do I want to spend this turn taking acid? I think like because of the money that I have, I think I just take broken mouth, get over 30 HP, reroll. And I wanted to try to find like another item. Like, I really... Oh, I'm going to reroll 50 here. I really wanted to find, like, another knife. Uh, now I'm just kind of stuck rerolling again. Nope, no knives. I really want more knives. I need, like, more upgraded knives, I think. I definitely just wasted a lot of money. And that was kind of, like, one of the things I was talking about before. And maybe it was worth it to save it there. Because I'm only going to get one more shop until either death or the end of the game. Like, I think the game that I won this morning with the blades, I think, like, you know, everything kind of just went that certain way. Where it's like, okay, like, most of my shops and upgrades are just working out really well for me. Definitely need some of this currency here. Thank you. 
But we're dealing we're dealing this way pretty good. I want this currency. I think the life steal is honestly what I want. Wisdom could be good because this is a really long wave. But that'd be my whole thing. Oh, another circular saw. That's big. That's probably what I'm going to take. Oh, I could just combine it. But another one has to be, like, way better. I feel like. I mean, 22 damage. This is doing pretty good. I'm just going to upgrade it to a legendary <laughs> circular saw. I think I think having the other one was better. It's so fast now though, point one seconds. Whew. I wish I could sell this for like lots of money. And take this other knife. We'll lock it. Just in case the game's bugged. I definitely didn't get as many items and stuff in this run as I did in the other ones. Like the one where I, I, I won, I had this row full, this row full, and then like three more items. So it's definitely like, obviously being the game is some RNG, but I definitely think this knife build is one of the stronger ones to start out with. Obviously you need to get items that line up. I'm just going to stand here in the middle. I also partially think that not taking, not selling the one knife and buying like an additional circular saw was a mistake. We'll see if I make it through here. I'm doing really well so far. for the health. Yeah, I'm done. That when, he, when you get to like 20 seconds, man, the wave gets so, so hard. I can't even believe I beat the, that one round this morning. Um, I'm going to go with another one and just see how it plays out. Start another crazy. Same thing. I think I'll just start with the lightning shiv again because I do like that. I do like that sub theme of, of blades and, and elemental blades. Obviously, I think this like you know synergistically, it's a no-brainer to pick the lightning shiv because you get the bonus and you get the elemental damage going. I don't think attack speed. We're taking scarred sausage. Reroll. 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 <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna reroll this time. I'll just go. I'll just save my rerolls. Scarred sausage is good, I think is really good too with the elemental because I think it can proc with the lightning. I think it did. I was about to point at my screen. But so like if you get the lightning to come off the shiv and hit somebody, I think that can proc the burning damage. Mm, take max HP. Another one. I like alien tongue too. Alright, I need to lock this one though. Because this, the claw tree, I think is good too. But I need more weapons. The game that I won this morning, I think I went into wave three with like five knives, which is definitely more than you need. But it's a great start. But I think right now I've been getting the items. I'm telling you, I think I think scarred sausage is one of the best items ever. They'll probably nerf it. Hmm. I'm 
gonna take the beanie. I think beanie is good. I'm just gonna reroll. And I'm just gonna lock this again. I mean, this is perfect. This kind of goes against our max health, but I mean, I don't think it's a big deal. We definitely want to find more knives, more regular knives. But actually, like the lightning ship does have a pretty good crit chance on its own. That's what I think really makes the knife the best, is that its crit chance is so high. And then it scales with crit chance, so... You know, it just becomes a really good weapon. Like a base weapon for your build. Starting point, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> but yeah, I definitely don't mind picking up Beanie and sacrificing range for speed. Like I said, I do think there is some logic in, in having a... Oh, I'll take Living Booger. I'll take Scar, too. Um, I do think there is some like merit to having a lower range with a melee build to clear your lane. Definitely taking max HP. I don't want my range to be super low, but I'll take another beanie. Although, yeah, I'll take one more beanie. Cause, but I don't think like I don't think you need your speed much higher than ten percent. I'm just gonna lock this one, and I'll probably buy these glasses too. Just to reset the range. But I could leave it off and just see, you know, see how it does. We definitely need more weapons. Level 5, like I said, is, is definitely one of like the proving, kind of like your proving grounds. The one ring, too, is really nice. The one that, like, you get extra elemental damage. But yeah, I definitely need more more weapons. I definitely like getting that circular saw though, last game. I felt like that was really good. Be super deceptive with my thumbnail. I wonder how many people are going to be like, I don't think you actually won a game. Hmm. I think I might just take the attacks. I kind of want crit damage, though, plus 20%. That's good. Ooh, and I'll take the attack speed. Definitely want to start getting armor soon. I want Hedgehog just for the two melee. I actually like Rock. Like I like the blunt um, weapon class. I might try to work on a build with that too. It has good, uh, has good like set bonuses. Uh, I'll take Hedgehog. Another lightning ship. Power of the Triangle of Power. I've never seen this weapon. Minus two damage until the end of wave when you take damage. Weird. That's such a cool item. We have so many lightning ships. Dude, my potato looks awesome. What is my... My crit is 26 with the lightning ship. Two scars also is. Yeah, I mean this is a nice like bladed elemental build so far. Definitely need more damage. If we're just gonna be going with a bunch of bladed or uh, lightning ships. I like our speed right now. PSQ. But like I said, I don't think you need much more than ten. Because by the end of the game, like, you're not really going to be dodging. 
enemies manually. There's just way too many enemies. But it does seem like we're able to take out groups pretty good. And that's like the big thing that you want. I'll take it. Definitely want lifesteal. Don't want another broken mouth. I'm interested to see what you regenerate one HP every five seconds. So there's something broken with that, but I, I definitely don't think you do. It'd be, f I d again, I don't want this to be the case, but I do want the dodge one to be the case. I do want your potato to get bigger if you lose dodge. Um, but I hope they don't do that because, you know, for obvious reasons. I might take defective steroids too. I do have a lot of attack speed. Um, if you if I lost one every five seconds, that'd be funny. Ooh, I want to lock this knife. I'm just gonna simply lock it because I will just buy it. <laughs> Look at my guy's face. I'll probably just combine the shivs here and get the epic knife. Seems kind of like a no-brainer. It's going to be like super high damage. I'm never. I'm not going to be looking for upgrades. Like, I'm just going to try to get as much, much material as I can this round. I guess. Which is like pretty much the goal every round, but. Like the, I feel like the more your screen shakes, also the better your character is doing. But I can definitely be like super aggressive with this build right now. We are doing a lot of melee. I almost just want to take this armor. Steel. <sighs> Another lightning ship. <sighs> Do I want more speed? I don't think I need more speed. Hmm, I kind of want this though. This could, I think this, see like this is the question, like does an item, does Cyberball work in conjunction with scarred sausage just a one damage proc the the sausage you know i kind of want to take this bat i will lose two material every round but i don't think that's a big deal and i want to lock the cyberball i think cyberball is one of those ones dude my character looks crazy right now I almost want to try to like take a screenshot. I'll try to take a screenshot after of like this character. Dude, he looks so crazy. I'll maybe use this as the thumbnail. Like this screaming bad hedgehog. We're doing a lot of damage though, because we're we're definitely ripping apart these bigger enemies. Dude, the next Brotato update is going to be crazy. <laughs> this game is so good. I don't think I've ever put more hours into a demo. Six melee damage. It's a lot. Ricochet. Projectiles bounce. So we don't have any projectiles. We'll take the cyber ball and I'll re-roll. Hmm. I do kind of like the extra. I mean, I'm doing a lot of elemental damage, I thought. Maybe not as much. I wonder if I should take the taser. I 
want to take the taser, but like I don't want to take the taser. I feel like I'm just gonna find something right away. <clears throat> Do I want to lock in another hedgehog? I mean, I'm definitely not. I don't see why not. I don't know. Nah, we'll just continue. So now I'm only at 20% crit chance. And that's not going to go up anymore. Let's just see how the taser works. I'm not like a super big fan of the taser. might be good though. Honestly, actually, like, I think... Doesn't the taser slow enemies in radius around the projectile? Yeah. The taser could be, like, one of the weapons that just unlocks wave 12. You know? Because it slows everything down. I don't know. I may or may not trade it out. It could be the key, though. It could be the key to the chocolate factory. I don't know why I always play this game with my hand and my mouse, too. As if I'm actually like, doing anything. Yeah, this... Actually, the taser, I don't know... I don't know if it's the taser or what, but we seem to be doing really well. Life gain's huge, though. Hmm, I'm definitely going to take more armor. Plus three elemental damage. Boom. Ooh, knife. And I could take acid now, too. That's going to give me a lot of health. I could take both of these. Forty damage on the knife. We definitely don't want this, so we'll just let it go. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing pretty good right now. Yeah, there's probably going to be some like really cool screenshots from like wave 12 or something. I don't know why I've gotten super lazy. This is unrelated to the game. But as far as making videos, like I have uh, Photoshop and stuff. But I've just been doing thumbnails like in paint. Part of me wants to get rid of like the Adobe suite though. It just becomes a lot. Anybody who does YouTube videos knows like YouTube is like can become just super consuming. That was good. We didn't really take that much, uh, much material. I might take this. We have a lot of attack speed right now. We'll just, I mean, we can. How much melee? I mean, this is everything is melee except for the. Do I want another missile? Everything, they just want all my... I am going to take another steroids, I think. I will take more steroids. I will take boogers. Another lightning shiv. Yeah, I think we can definitely just lock up this whole line. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think right now I'm on the path. I'm on the right path. Is it in the gods' favor, though, to win Wave 12? I think Wave t 12 is really... Potentially I need more armor, more life gain. I don't think my damage is an issue. I would love to see a wave... Like, I would love to see a build that just destroys Wave 12. If anyone knows of one. Please comment below. walking through the middle. 
Yeah, we definitely have no problem with the damage right now. Those guys are... I don't know, are they like healing or are they like... I'm gonna reroll that. Crit damage. I'll take that. I think that the tongue will help us pick up uh, heals. Wow. If I could have bought this, this knife, wow, I feel like that would have been really good. So this is it, boys. The moment of truth. We do have a lot of items, and that is typically a good sign. We have good, we're doing good damage. I mean, we're not going to reroll into buying anything, so... go. This wave just gets so crazy. Like after thir when you have 30 seconds left, it's just crazy. I'm just gonna stand in the middle. And just fight. Yeah, I mean, we're doing a lot of work right now. But things just start like spawning up. Yeah, see, here it goes. It just ramps, like, so insane. Like, it's times like this that I wish I didn't get rid of my attack speed. But see, like, this is what I'm saying, where you start to get to a point where you start clearing, like, you start clearing your own paths. And you kind of, like, stutter step through. Dirt. 238 damage. 10 seconds. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. 6 seconds. So close. So close. I just got backed into that corner. I probably could have got out. There's probably a way. <laughs> like if you watch the replay, but that was very, very close. That was very, very close. I, like I said, I think this is this is definitely one of the builds that gets you close to the end. And, and as you can see, I mean, I did win that game that I didn't record. As you can see, as you can see, I won that game earlier, swears. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely like a really, really solid build. And I think can, it, if you keep playing it, I mean, you're going to get there, you know, for sure. But definitely got some nice items here. I think like the like the big synergy with this blade is 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 really utilizing the lightning shiv. So it's basically blade and elemental. Does the taser unlock level wave twelve? I'm not sure. Maybe. But I think you need like I think this is the build. You know what I mean? Like this is the build with high damage and it utilizes elemental really well. I think the thing that struggles with the elemental weapons is like that mage build like you lose out on that initial upfront damage um, which makes it really tough so yeah that being said I, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and I hope you guys are enjoying Brotato and, and let me know what kind of builds you got, you guys are playing with and having a lot of success with below um, with that you know comment like subscribe do the YouTube stuff and uh, let me get to Microsoft Paint alright alright so